What's good, Dragon Ball Super fans out there? It's your boy Rebel here, back again with another video for you guys. So, upon scrolling down YouTube, I actually see this video on who's more to blame, Beerus or Supreme Kai, on why the mortal level on Universe 7 is so low. And in that video, the guy in the video actually said both were to blame. But me personally, I disagreed with that because I felt like who's to blame more is more in Beerus' hands because Supreme Kai Shin was like, you know, inexperienced and at that leader position right away. So me personally, I really felt like Beerus was more to blame because a lot of things happen while Beerus goes to sleep. Bears just chills. Whatever he's doing, a lot of things happen. And sometimes he gave some orders for some planets to get destroyed. So, if it wasn't for Beerus, I felt like we definitely would have had more universes on where to fight. And it, it really kind of started pretty early. You know, he done sealed up. He done sealed up Elder Kai, which was a long time ago. Very, very, very long time ago. He sealed him up in a Z-Sword. So, that's one mistake on his part. After sealing him up, I, I don't know how long it took for the next Supreme Kai to come up, but I know for a fact that uh, Dai Kaio was in was the leader before Supreme Kai uh, Supreme Kai Shin took the lead. He ended up getting killed off by you know Boo, who who also should have been stopped by Beerus, but that ended up leaving a very inexperienced Kai in the leader position. So I don't know if he knew exactly his job and what everything to do. He said he was the supreme. He was the Kai of the East Quadrant. So I don't know if the job got real crazy, it was real different. But I know when he took up the lead, he really couldn't do much. He just knew about Majin Buu and the destruction he causes. So that ends up leading up to you know Bibbidi. Before before he even took his lead, Bibbidi himself released Kid Buu. Onto the world, onto the universe, had Kid Buu destroy a bunch of planets, a bunch of planets, a bunch of planets. Now, with all the Kai's getting destroyed and absorbed by Kid Buu, Beerus could have still stepped in and Hakai'd him. Basically, ended everything. He could have ended everything, saved some planets before they even got destroyed. So, Buu actually got to destroy a bunch of planets. Then, after that, when he actually came back, and became Kid Buu, he was still destroying planets looking for for Goku. So that's a lot of life being destroyed by one character. Then that's not even the worst part of it. You allow Frieza to run rule for a long time. He even gave Frieza the order to destroy, you know, Planet Vegeta. And we all know that's a bunch of sayings that he just destroyed. Some of the strongest warriors or the... Fighters that could have the potential to be some of the strongest in the universe. And we could, that actually made it very different from Universe 6 as they still had their Saiyans and they were able to evolve and everything like that. We had Frieza take over our Saiyans and, you know, do every other nonsense. So it's going to be pretty hard for us to not put the blame on Beerus. It's crazy. He just let, he let two tyrants basically go. Well, Kid Buu wasn't a real tyrant. He was just a destroyer of everything, going crazy, destroyed everybody. Beerus could have stopped him, but did not stop him. Could have stopped Frieza from, you know, taking over planets, selling them, destroying them, but did not stop him also. So at, at the end of the day, I'm going to put all the blame on these two hands right here, Whis and Beerus. Because Whis, I know for a fact Whis could have seen everything that was going on on his little crystal ball. He could have seen everything and related to Beerus, and Beerus could have stopped everything. But no. He didn't want to do all that. And it's crazy because Beerus even visited Planet Vegeta and stepped on Ve uh, King Vegeta's head and everything like that. So let me know what you guys think. I, I want to know if you guys agree with me. You know, if you don't agree with me, who would you? Who else would you put the blame on? Or do you th would you put the blame on Supreme Kai, Shin, or would you put the blame on both of them? Let me know. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And I'll check you guys later. Peace, YouTube.